got those clouds and showers, not from Faye, but from the cold front that rolled in from the west and is still sitting out over the mountains over Tennessee, approaching slowly and will wash out tomorrow. You can see Stewart showers and thunderstorms, damaging wind gusts reported from Wilkes to Yakin over Elkin. It was a very busy night, isolated severe storms when we weren't supposed to have severe thunderstorms, but it all worked out as we had hot 90 steamy conditions. And of course, a little energy aloft all changed things very quickly for us. North Wilkesboro from the town hall there and out through Sourtown Mountain, we saw some beautiful rainbows on the back edge of these thunderstorms with the sun setting just at the right time. You can see this from Ed Phillips. Thanks for sharing some of your photographs with us and your videos. And thanks uh, to Ed in Moxville for sharing that. Rainfall totals, well, it's a little bit on the low side for some folks in the southern Piedmont, but areas like areas of uh, Albemarle, Lexington, and central Davidson County, you had one to two inches there. Other folks, anywhere from 17 hundredths of an inch in Stanleyville and Tobaccoville, about 44 hundredths of an inch. Take a look at the showers and thunderstorms we still have out there right now. They're moving east out over Burlington, Ashboro. You're starting to see a little bit of clearing, but still some rolls uh, and rumbles of thunder that are moving east tonight. Cold front is there, it'll wash out for us tomorrow. We expect to be drier tomorrow, slight drop in humidity, but we have so much surface moisture. So we haven't ruled out an isolated storm. I think most folks that are gonna be mostly dry, ridge of high pressure building back in. You can see here our by our bringing in a few areas of showers through early tomorrow morning, two, 3 a.m. We should see those really cease. And we've got some areas of dense fog that'll form low 70s. We'll get you into the mid 80s by noontime tomorrow east of the mountains and then you're right into the 90s. It's going to feel more like the low to mid 90s tomorrow and then by Sunday afternoon we might feel like the upper 90s to near 100. So we are watching that trend. Sunday will bring in an isolated storm chance. Now highs today in the low to mid 90s and yes 91 degrees is your forecast high for you tomorrow. We made it to 92 today. We may even be able to top that tomorrow but isolated storm chances if any, tomorrow would be late in the day. Your temperature's at 90 in the foothills and in the mountains, we've got you at 65, warming to about 81 degrees. And there we'll see 70s through middle of the day, but heating up nicely and with high humidity still in place, we'll see the, feels like temperatures there more like the mid 80s. You've got miserable conditions today. We go back to that trend, bringing more moisture back in for Monday and a good bit of beach moisture. Here's Tropical Storm Fake, continues to move north at about 17 miles an hour, down to 40 miles an hour for the latest advisory at 11 o'clock, stretching out through Montreal as we go into late tomorrow night and early Sunday morning. Here's a look at the rainfall totals there, heaviest along Maryland's eastern shore and up into Jersey, as well as Wilmington, Delaware, and Dover area. You can see shower and thunderstorms at our beaches will be scattered. We still have a little bit of lingering moisture that we'll have to deal with in that front tomorrow. And then for Sunday, we have a chance of more isolated storms, not a washout no matter where you are in North Carolina this weekend, and that's a welcome relief. Beach temperatures also warming the low 80s, so it will be feeling a little bit better there, but high heat indices will be a problem getting you into early next week, feeling like the lower 100s as well there. All right, showers and thunderstorms. Well, pretty much out of the picture for Sunday, Saturday. Sunday, we see a return later in the day into early evening, and by Monday, better rain chances for you. Otherwise, hot and humid, typical July weather getting into next week.